Welcome back to Talos of Tech, everybody, and this is everything you get when you pre-order a Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Which you're past the pre-order time, so I guess you're screwed. Um, first thing I got two days ago, without even the phone, was an amplifier speaker dock. No clue what that is, I didn't ask for it, they didn't tell me it was coming, it was just a gift from Samsung. Okay, and the other thing you get, for free with the purchase, is a Gear VR headset by Samsung with a controller included, powered by Oculus. Very curious to see what we get with that, but of course, I'll unbox what we care about the most first the galaxy s8 plus because you guys don't watch the whole video anyway here we go okay this looks like our classic little lid opening experience like i got with the note 7 let's just hope it's not as explosive and watch out wow such a wide such a wide long tall phone it's like looking at an ice cream sandwich man that display is just so different the aspect ratio oh wait no i don't want to peel the display off yet plastic on there oh Okay, now I know Samsung went all out for looks on this one, and that's its priority. And I've made fun of it a lot, but man, does this look cool. Very, very light in the hand, very premium material, and okay. It's time to peel the plastic off. Let's do it, okay? Oh, wow, man. That was, a good, that was a good one. That was satisfying. There's our incredibly tall glass display on the front, edge to edge. Infinity display, even though, you know, it ends, I can see where it ends. Off the glass back here. Whoa. That is a 6.2 inch display. And man, I, I'm already getting weird vibes because there's too many buttons. Like I got volume here, I got Bixby here, I got on and off here. Was anyone else slightly bothered by the fact that the USB-C port is like really low? Like it's lower than everything else? Like not sure why it has to be that way. It's fine, whatever. Okay, and yeah, the camera bulge is like essentially gone. There's a little ring around it, but yeah, the phone is going to perfectly lay flat, not rock around it. Well, just a tad bit. But I must say that is a very good looking phone. Boy, is it beautiful. I'm gonna peel this off because this little paper thing is ruining it. Not coming off easy either, geez. Come on, come on. There, all right. Man, why'd they have to ruin it with all that stuff? And man, my, like dust in the room is collecting on the phone and it's already super obvious. Let me clean this beautiful guy up a bit. Just a couple things making it terrible. Okay, booting it on now. Power. There we go, hold it. Galaxy S8 Plus, let's do this. Show off your infinity display, do it. Oh look, the little green light is on already. Hello! Wow, look at how bright it is. Yeah, it's Verizon, all right. Okay, got 64 gigs of internal storage. That is the only configuration you can have. You know, I know how they said that the display goes to edge to edge. Looking straight at it forward, I can see the bezels at all times. Yes, they're very thin, but it's not, they're not gone. You have to look at it at about like this for the bezels to go away on one side. But anyway, next. I love that emergency call tag. Like you just bought this phone and there's an emergency going on. You don't have time to set it up. You ran into a store very, very quickly, bought the S8 so that you could call an ambulance, yes. But man, let me just see if I can get used to such a tall display. I'm gonna connect to my phone's hotspot because we have Verizon Unlimited. I'm gonna enter my very secret password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's got a very nice taptic engine. I know that's not what they call it, but the taptics in this are very nice. Hmm. It's just so different not having 16 by nine, like the ratio being all like this. I'm not sure how to feel about it yet. I do like the curved corners though. That is a nice touch that a lot of phones are doing nowadays. A lot, you know, like two. The S8 and LG G6 and potentially on the next iPhone. And I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, these tactics definitely feel uh, different than I remember on the Note 7. So they may have done some improving there. Just signing into my Google account real quick. Agree to sell my soul to the devil. Okay, look, just in a moment like this, look at how much text is on the screen. It's nice that you have so much space to look at, but at the same time, I'm like, I can't take all this in at the same time. It just takes some getting used to, I'm sure. Next, the Note 7 booted up very quickly once you logged in. I'm curious to see how long this will take. Oh, here we go. Set up face recognition, set up fingerprint scanner, iris scanner. Um, I think I'm gonna go with iris because I had that on the Note 7 and it wasn't very good. It wasn't very intuitive and I'm curious if they've improved it now. So I'm gonna set up the iris scanner. Here we go. Disclaimer, whoa. Before using the iris scanner camera now, keep the following in mind. To protect your eyes, keep the screen at least eight inches away. What do you mean to protect it? Is it gonna explode? Do not attach unofficial screen protectors. Iris recognition LED may turn off even when you are very close to it. Do not use iris recognition with infants. Doing so may damage their eyesight. What is going, what is all this disclaimer? Iris scanner is not intended for use as a medical device. Biometric data collected and stored locally by the iris scanner is not intended for any diagnostic, therapeutic, or preventative medical purposes. No, this is definitely therapeutic. Gonna look at it and just be like, oh, I feel better now. My God, I don't remember this with the Note 7. All right, let's laser my eyeballs now. Hold your phone 10 to 14 inches from your face. Let me get out my ruler and just measure that. Here we go. Where do I look? Oh, in the circles. 
There we go, setting up, setting it up for, oh, I, Iris is registered, great. Tips for using irises, yeah, I've never used my own iris before. Hold your phone at eye level, about 10 to 14 inches from your face. Yeah, touch ID sucks, right? This is so much more intuitive, all you gotta do is this. Got it. If you're wearing glasses or contacts, it's harder for the iris scanner to identify you. So yeah, every time you wanna unlock your phone, just pull off your glasses or contacts. Got it. Oh, and also make sure you open your eyes all the way. Don't be squinty. You know, if it's early in the morning or anything, make sure to open your eyes all the way. Oh, and also don't do it outside because if it's in direct sunlight, it probably won't work. Oh, and make sure there's nothing on your phone, like keep the cameras clean. If there's a smudge or something on them, it won't work. Select a mask. All of these rules and now I can put a face mask on. Uh, okay, Samsung, okay. Notifications are gonna be on, yes. Next, we protected the phone. Oh, we're done? Email setup, oh great. Uh, no, I don't want email. Personalize your phone, okay, because the Google account wasn't enough. See, when you buy it from Samsung, you're gonna have your Gmail login and your Samsung login. Got it, Samsung account. Here's all the things I get. Sounds great, Samsung, let's sign in then. Welcome to your Samsung account, got it. I had that from the Note 7. Wonderful, next. And we are ready to go, I think. Are we at the home screen, got it? Hey, look, we made it, guys. And there is our fully up and running Galaxy S8 Plus. What a massive phone, look at that. Look at how the pixel, the, the little pixie dust on the screen moves depending on how I hold the phone. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Okay, let's try this Bixby thing. Oh God, what is it making a sound for? Oh, did it hear me say the word Bixby? Hey, Bixby. No, it didn't. Okay, whatever. Let me just press the button. Oh. Hello, Bixby. The place we did start. Oh, there was all this text on it. Okay, I agree to all of this. Finish. I just want to start. Man, there's so much reading. I feel like I'm in school again. My schedule. How to use Bixby. Press the button we added. Check the weather. Samsung's themes. Great. Should Samsung themes allow access to photos on your device? Yes. You can access yourself. Let's just change the wallpaper up a little bit. Oh, well, let me try the new home button. Okay, that just feels like someone's just pressing a keyboard. It doesn't feel anything at all like an iPhone home button, but whatever, I won't complain. Okay, oh, now we're shooting a video, but it's at 16 by nine. That's why we got all that space up there. Okay, while I'm here, why don't I unbox the headset? Oh, there's a little double tap here to always on display. Oh God, this is too much. This is too much to take in at once. Okay, open this box up. Very light box, by the way. I hope the headset would be light. Okay, come on. This thing pops out, there we go. Oh, it's a little slide, okay. Push it out this way, okay. I reviewed Samsung VR a while ago. I'm wondering if this is much different. Feels the same, smells the same. Except we got the remote with Gear VR. Instructions, there's our remote. So we can be in the virtual world. Oh, it clicks and I can like trackpad. That's interesting. We'll have to play around with this. Oh, it runs on AAA batteries. Got batteries right here. Gonna have to remember where all this goes. I, I asked for the S8 and I got like a whole pile of things, which is fine. Just realized I haven't even unboxed the rest of the S8 plus. Open this stuff here. We get, yeah, yeah. charger right here with adaptive fast charging USB-C. Thank you. Take note from this Apple. There's our little black uh, charger. But what? Why? What? Why do they have USB A on here? Tell me there's more than that. Tells me there's a second brick. Ooh, you brought an adapter. Okay. Tell me there's a second brick. No! No, no, no! Samsung, when you do USB C, you put in a USB C to USB C cable because that is the future. Why would you include a USB C to USB A and have that old style USB A port on the charger? This makes no sense. Well, this is stupid. Whatever, I'm being too hard, I guess. It'll charge fast either way. We got anything cool in here? No, oh, just Verizon crap. Verizon's confusing. Okay, what are these special headphones I keep hearing about? Ooh, a headphone jack. Okay, they got like little yarn kind of cabling. That's interesting. Open you up. Definitely will compare these to my AirPods. Sound quality, I expect to be very top notch because these are expensive, I heard. Open all this up. Interesting. There's very light cables. They're not plastic. It's like having a yarn. They're almost elastic. Jeez. I've got my little buds here. Oh man. Having a cord. This is going to be different. I don't even remember how to put these in anymore. Okay. And before I go, move all of this stuff and unbox whatever the heck this special random gift was. Amplified speaker dock. Rip this apart. Look how much stuff they gave us. Very very generous, Samsung. Thank you. They must feel very sorry for the Note 7. Okay, made in China. I figured. How do I... Oh, look, they wrote a little message here. God, look at all the dust on this thing. Can I get this out? What does it say? Thank you for ordering the Galaxy S8. Please accept this gift as a small thank you for your business. Why did you leave all this dust on this speaker here? Was that how it's designed? 
Oh, is it a thing? My God, you just, you literally drop your phone into the top of this like so, and it just makes the phone speaker louder at the same time. Okay, this is ridiculous. Look, it's flimsy on there. It's just gonna break off. Samsung, just make your phones cheaper. Look, this thing is shedding black like hair all over me. Okay, I don't want that. No, well, thank you, Samsung. Just make your products cheaper. You don't have to include all these gifts. Okay, I've got a lot to review now. Thank you guys for watching. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.